What is going on, guys? Today we have the developers of a token of a new project called Super Mission, and we are going to dive into their brains, put them in the hot seat, and grill them and ask them about their project, about who they are, and most importantly, we're going to try to uncover whether or not this is a project that we could invest our hard earned money into, and if they're people that we could invest our hard earned money into. If you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm a brand new crypto investor. I only started just a few months ago, and I consider myself a cowboy just with a lizard brain, gorilla arms, and diamond hands exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency. I'm on a journey to one Bitcoin, and if you want to follow along in that journey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell for any new and updated content that's timely. And of course, if you feel like a generous person, a lot of people don't feel that way on these YouTube videos, I would ask for your like. It helps me grow the channel. Channel and, and you know all that stuff now a little bit of framing for this interview basically just, I'm, I'm, I'm just like you I'm just a cowboy like you just exploring trying to find people to trust and I go on YouTube to try to like research about different coins and projects and tokens and crypto and I didn't know that other youtubers at the time I didn't know that they were getting paid to promote coins well there are particular youtubers that did that and they didn't disclose whether or not they get paid and so that bothered me because when these devs started coming to me, they were like, yeah, we paid that guy and he didn't even do a good job. He was like yawning and he didn't, he wasn't excited, enthusiastic about the project. And then, and you know, we, it didn't make us look good and we lost money. And so, and the, and the project, the people watching that video, like me, I lost money because he was just reading the website. I'm like, this is a crappy video, you know what I'm saying? And so what I decided to do was to develop a three pronged approach, a win, win, win scenario for everyone involved. The developers can come on a platform like this platform, like this channel right now, and they could defend their project with the energy and the insight that you know only they have. Two, I can get compensated and uh, is removed as an unbiased party and get to ask questions alongside of you, like you know, fellow cowboy. And you and I get the best information on whether or not this is a project we could sink our time, our energy, and our money into. And so I just want to invite the, the developers of Super, uh, of Super Mission, of, of uh, Super Mission, Ahmad and Hamza, to the hot seat. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Aaron. Uh, I'm Hamza Alasfar, and I have my co-developer with me, Ahmad uh, Hutham, and we are the developers of Supermission. Awesome, awesome. Glad to have you guys here. Um, I, I'm just super proud that you guys are able to like show your guys' face to show that you guys believe in this project so much that you know a lot of pe these guys don't want to show their face. And so I want to start off before asking about uh, Super Mission. I want to ask about you guys because I believe that a project is an extension of its developers. And so maybe Ahmad, if you could go first. Uh, tell me a little bit about your background, your, your origin story, and then Hamza, uh, you can follow. Sure. Well, thanks so much for having us, and I already like the way that you're you know, <laughs> asking these questions and, and giving us both a chance to, uh, to, to answer. Um, yeah. So I was born in Iraq. I was born in Baghdad uh, during the first Gulf War. My parents moved to America looking for a dollar and a dream, and I was very blessed and privileged to grow up here in the United States. I grew up in Tampa, Florida. And I ended up studying at the University of South Florida. I was many things there. I was uh, an activist. I was an organizer. I graduated with a degree in public relations and I had a background in marketing and advertising. And I also slacked off in my classes. Uh, and after that, I actually Same. started a production studio and I, would, I did some filmmaking and I combined filmmaking with activism to tell creative stories and, and organize people. And fast forward, you know, all these years later, and here I am organizing people yet again, except this time it's organizing people in the crypto space. And that's something I'm very passionate about. I would consider myself a creative person as well as a project manager. These types of projects bring me to life and it puts me in touch with human beings and it allows me to be an extrovert and connect and learn other people's stories and pick a goal. For us, it's the moon and just head there together. Got it. Got it. So you are a self-proclaimed activist, organizer, um, marketer, production, filmmaker, creative. Uh, I see all those talents um, coming into Super Mission. I, I probably have a lot of questions for you uh, later in the video. Hamza, your turn. Uh, tell me what your origin story is. Um, I'm Hamza Alasfar. I was born in Jordan, but raised in the uh, States. 
my passion is crypto i've been in crypto since 2017 i uh i am a business businessman as well but i've gotten into crypto since 2017 and ha i have made a lot of people a lot of money since awesome. 2017 uh in 2021 i started my own youtube channel i do have a youtube channel right now uh it's a small one with 4,000 subscribers and on there and, and and by the way aaron i love your energy that's the same energy i have and i love it um and i started trading live with my youtubers and we started mm -hmm. making money together it wasn't always wayne it wasn't always wins uh there was some losses but you know we, we try to do it together and we built a small community and uh you know they asked me to make a, a coin with a utility and and that's how supermission got on board and ahmed my co-developer here he was the helping hand and we found another uh, guy his name is adam He's not uh, with us. He's the core developer of Supermission, and that's how Supermission, uh, you know, went public a few days awesome. ago. Awesome. Oh, you guys are, when, when did it go public? We launched seven days ago. Jeez, Louise. Seven brand, days ago. brand new. Baby yes, coin, yes. baby token here. Yes. Okay, so let's get right to it. Supermission. What is Supermission about? Okay, so Supermission, when we first came out, right? it was a charity token because you know i wanted to make money and at the same time help people so it was a charity token uh that's what we started but we changed that recently because we when people hear charity they were like i'd rather give to charity than to invest in a project so uh we added utility and we added the utility literally today we just uh we just came out with a few utilities that will help investors um, look for these projects as you all as you know there's a lot of coins that we invest I invested in um, live on video and there were there's a lot of there's a lot of crap on the internet right so there's much. a lot there's so, so much. much there's so much so I, I came out with this formula and this formula would tell us uh, whether it, it, was, it was gonna be uh, you know a rug pull or whether it's it's a long term and when I say long term in the crypto world it's like hey I'll make three four X and, and then I'll get out so the a utility that we literally came out with was to help us come out with a formula and we're going to call it super screener and the super screener is literally going to take a project uh look through the bcs scan look through the website and it's going to tell us whether that uh that project slash website slash you know telegram is legit or not are they anonymous are they going to be audited is the did the website come out today interesting yes and all that is coming out with the utility now that's one of the utilities the other utility is going to be uh, a super sniper and, and everything i'm naming is going to be super because we are super mission so we're yeah. going to come out with a super sniper which is like bogged finance and we're going to have it customized with limit orders and limit sales and we're going to have a super tracker where it you it, it takes a project from the beginning and it and it sees what wallets are distributed in the beginning so you can tell whether the project is distributing to the owners or is it really a fair launch and all that utility is coming out in supermission real soon what is what is real soon i'm, I'm counting three i'm counting three utilities here what's three real utilities. soon so the beta version is going to come out within two weeks that's what we're doing two weeks okay. beta version the, the updated final uh, stage will come out in four weeks from now. Wow. Wow. And I'm so wow. excited. I'm so excited because it, it, it's literally something that we can look out for and everybody can be able to use to look out for for these future rock pools. I got a few questions here. I got a few questions here. Super screener. That sounds like out of the three, in my opinion, that sounds like the most intriguing to me. Super yes. tracker number two, super super sniper number, you know, the, yes. the last yes. one. Yes. But super screener. Um, so I've been, I've been actually. This has been my idea internally, right here. So this is you, you're in act, you're executing. I just had the idea in my brain, right? And yes. it's it's just so fascinating that you could have like a. This is how I got started with my YouTube videos. Like I had to research a little thing and then like kind of detect and I'm brand new. Like I'm I'm doing it at a novice level. And so how does this work? Like is it is it just like code and formulas or some nerdy stuff that I don't get? Like how does that work? Exactly. So I okay, so I come out with a formula, right? And that formula can be literally computerized and put in a bot and code it. So okay. I 
I came out with an idea. Why am I, like, it, it takes time. It takes time to go to the project. Look when the website is done. Did yep. they buy real followers? Did they buy fake followers? Is this going to be anonymous? Is this going to be audited? Mm -hmm. The whole the whole scene of it. And, and it's a formula that I put together, right? And that literally can be computerized. And once we computerize it and put it in a bot, you literally just take the contract code, put it in there, and it tells you. I hey, tell you what. It that tells you awesome. whether it has a blacklist feature. It tells you when, when the web website was launched. It tells you whether they're anonymous or not. And it tells you all these features that is going to be in Super uh, Screener. I tell you what, that's, that sounds awesome. Um, I would use that in my videos, like as a shortcut. To and shortcut. I cannot wait, Aaron. I cannot wait. So no, seriously, that sounds amazing. Like I, you could, I could see that as like a like a Chrome extension. You know what I mean? Like you put that in a Chrome extension or whatever in in a, a wallet extension if the if those are possible. Exactly. Like that, that sounds amazing. I don't know how that would work, or I, I don't even need to know the technicals. I just love that you guys have a clear vision towards something like that. That's like super utility. Um, I love it. I honestly, I see people copying you guys, but I've heard it here first, and so whoever whoever said it, like I heard it here first. Now, Super Tracker, t explain explain that to me because I'm not really getting that. Okay, so Super Tracker, okay, so when a project comes out, they make the contract code, right? And they make yep. the contract code from the beginning. So you have to go and look at the wallet and who created the wallet, right? So a lot of these meme tokens, and I don't want to expose meme tokens out here, but a lot of these meme tokens, all right, let's call this token X token. X token came out today right with a contract code they're like oh it's fair launch and fair launch literally is like i have one billion supply of this token i burned half of it now there's 500 billion to the public so super tracker would go back and track that contract code and would see hey are they fair launch because they look like they dispersed 20 percent of their wallet to other wallets and these other wallets dispersed dispersed it to the other wallets which means it's not really a fair launch. What they're really telling you is it's a fair launch, but it's not. A lot, uh, the top holders are dispersing their tokens into different wallets, and when it hits the top, they're pulling out. It's a rug pull. Let me, let me add to that a little bit. So the super tracker basically is going to visualize the BSC scanner. So the BSC ah, scanner... Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I forgot to... You, you, go go ahead. To, you go to the BSC scanner, and it's like hundreds of addresses, especially as... You know, time goes on. The address is just increase and increase and increase. And it's kind of convenient. You just look at the top 10 addresses and yep. it's going to tell you like 15% in this big wallet, right? Yeah. Yep. To mitigate that, what people do is they take the top wallet. They don't want it to look heavy. So they create like 30, 50, 60, 100 wallets and spread this one wallet over so many different wallets. And that's a way for them to hide the fact that they still own and control the wallets. So what the token tracker the super tracker is going to do is visualize for you like a chart except it's like a tree branch right where all of them are going so you'll see that 15 percent wallet got split up and it went it's like a family tree but it's just going in all these different directions oh. so you can quickly click it figure out where it is trace it did they spend it did they dump it you know is it connected to the dev wallet so it's an opportunity to kind of clean up uh the pancake swap market the buying a smart chain market and, you know, going back to the super screener, there are already programs that sort of do what we're talking about, right? But what we're talking about is building the most advanced version of that, where you copy paste a contract code and an algorithm will just sweep through it and tell you like, hey, there's some problematic code in here. It'll also tell you like, hey, they're using an outdated version of Solidity because Solidity is a coding language like any other computer language. There are updates, right? So they could be using Solidity from two years ago that has weaknesses that people can exploit and therefore hack. And that's why you're seeing a lot of hacks in the market because people are just being lazy and using outdated Solidity languages and things like that. So our developer, Adam, this guy is the LeBron James of computing. I wish he was here, you'd love him. Maybe we can have a future <laughs> conversation with him. But the, like, we just, we're the idea men, right? Hamza has his ideas and he's not kidding. He has a formula that if you follow it, you can't guarantee profit, but if you follow his formula to the T, you are very unlikely to get rug pulled. Whether or not you make money is dependent on the project. 
what's this what's this magic formula his magic formula is i mean you can see it on his youtube channel but his magic formula he'll look right away he'll go to the okay crypto moonshots we're on reddit he finds you okay uh do they have any grammatical uh like any errors the way they spell are they so lazy and incompetent they can't even spell correctly right mm. do they have the web like all the links uh laid out in an organized fashion okay if they do let me go to the telegram is the telegram big is it active do they have 5,000 members but nobody's talking that's a bit weird is mm. the dev in the chat is he doxing himself there, so it's like all these little things that compiled together give you a, a sense of confidence and he, He's done that just because he has that experience, and that's why he says he's made a lot of money, people money. That's actually, you know, how he and I got closer because we've known each other for a while. But he and I got mm -hmm. real close because the money that he was helping me make because of his formula. And so it's about taking what he puts on paper and in these Google documents, and you know, he does it live on. I'm sure you'll check out his YouTube channel later, and giving that sure. to our developer and saying, "Can you make this into a solid program?" And the answer is yes, he can. And I think that's what separates us from other people is that we have that type of talent on the team. Awesome. So yeah, Super Tracker now my new favorite. That is that sounds amazing. And Ahmed, thank you for explaining that. I was just so excited about it. <laughs> Honestly, no, no, look, it wasn't you. It's my little lizard brain. Okay, I don't understand <laughs> all these big concepts. I really don't. I'm brand new. Like I'm just trying to understand things. So like even like. You saying fair launch? I'm like, okay, fair launch. What was that again? Like, I need to make sure. I need to make sure I know what that is. Look, and, and and I have a bu I have a bunch of people who are brand new to the space and brand new crypto investors, but just we want to invest in the new hot like coin that can shoot up possibly for us. We we feel like we missed the boat on a whole bunch of stuff. It's just how I really feel. Is that the best investing strategy? No, no, it's not. I should be investing in like these like big, you know, coins, these altcoins. But I do love like the, the the startup feel of everything, and you guys have so much energy and, and the, these ideas. And then not from under here, Adam, the LeBron James of coding and solidity. Is, I mean, like that sounds that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Thank um, you, man. Thank you. I would use Super Tracker. Here's how I would use it. I use it in a whale watching video. I like doing whale watching videos mm. um, because I just like spying on people. You know, <laughs> so I like I like spying on these wallets, and so that I would use that for that for sure. Both these. So now talk to me about Super Sniper. I'm not sure what that is either. Okay, so Super Sniper. <laughs> All right, so a lot of these pre-sales, right? Um, so when I say fair launch, fair launch means they didn't have a private sale. All right, they didn't have a private sale. They're launching it to the public right away. Gotcha, right? yep. So a lot of these tokens and IDOs are private, right? They have a private sale. You gotta, you got to get in these tiers. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to buy 45,000, let, let's just say paid, all right? Paid network has IDOs on their network and you got to, you, you got to buy in a heavy amount. You got to buy in like a thousand paid tokens, mm -hmm. which equals up to 40, $50,000 per tier. So the top tier would be 50,000. The second top tier, the second tier would be 20,000. The last tier is 10,000. All right. To so get into these IDOs, right? So. When these IDOs launch, they usually go 10x right away. They go 10x, 20x because they just launched. So what the super sniper would do is you you would grab right at the launch of the, like you gotta be literally on every private sale. Let's just say X token is launching tomorrow around 12 p.m., right? Around 12 p.m., you would go to the Telegram, you would copy their contract code, that's when it launches, you would put it in the sniper and you get the token right when it launches at the bottom. And then it, you literally getting it at what the price of the IDO guys got. Oh, got it. Wow. wow. So you would get it before even the public. So, so what the sniper would do is literally get that token at the pre-sale price and then it shoots up. And we're we're talking, we're right. talking milliseconds, right? You, I mean, that's yes, like, yes, okay. yes. So you would place an order, right? You would place an order and you let the sniper do his thing. It's a bot. So yep. what the bot does, it, it will wait until the contract code launches. It would go to PancakeSwap, swap your BNB really quick, and you just bought the token at the pre-sale price. Uh, I heard about these types of bots, and I yeah. heard that people use these bots to buy because, for, so for mainly the reason, because they're trying to compete with other bots, like bots are eating up these mm -hmm. these pre-sales and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes. So what, it be we're able... what we're trying to do, Aaron, and I'm sorry to cut you oh, off, yeah. is make it more user-friendly. Sure, sure. bugged 
has a sniper but it's really complicated to use it i used it a couple of times and i've made money off of it and i've also lost money as well i i don't always say i i always make money no no, no. i make money and i lose money but the bot is complicated to use we want it to make it as user friendly as possible hey this this coin is coming out today all right i'm gonna put the contract code and i put your bnb and Please. it's gonna do do the work honestly me. like user friendly apps is like the most important thing right now because everything is so darn complicated when i first no started idea. trying to buy like these meme coins on pancake swap i was like what the heck is a slippage i don't know <laughs> what is a version one version? <laughs> like, oh my God. i don't know i don't know but if you make something so easy where i just put in the contract code and it picks that up real quick and especially for like so here's the thing like i just feel like there's a mass amount of new people coming in. And if you have these three apps that could benefit and help these guys, these new dudes, like just help them like trade better, trade more advanced. Cause it's a brutal game out here. This it is, is the wild west. You got scammers and villains and, and all these kinds of things. And like, we need like the correct, what you're doing is you're arming, you're giving us tools here to use that are very user friendly. I like, and, I love it. Yeah, and by the way, I should add that uh, if you've been trading on PancakeSwap, you know you can't set buy or sell orders. So you're stuck right. next to your desktop. If you make an investment, it's terrifying to leave your computer. So yeah, with us, you'll be able to leave because you'll be That's able to awesome. put that buy or sell order in, leave, and you can even automate the whole process. And you're absolutely right. It's so convoluted and complicated we want to help make it as convenient as possible. And one of the things that we plan to do in the future, of course, because there's a lot that we need to get done, right? In the future, uh, what we want to do is, is make it like Supermission. We want Supermission to be this one-stop shop where people come even with their own fiat, right? They come with fiat mm -hmm. and they can just make the transition from fiat to crypto in a smooth process, even smoother than Trust Wallet, right? And just handle everything here with us. And so, yeah, I think if you, I think if you start reducing friction in the market, yeah. in, in like this, this, these barriers to entry, and especially like having them trade get at like advanced levels quickly, like myself, like I would be using these three things consistently. Like, I'm, I'm so happy that that you're saying that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, personally, personally, I would, I would use these. I would use this to track whale wallets. I would use a tracker, super tracker. I would use super sniper to if I wanted to see like a presale, because dude. I tried to buy that refinable presale, dude. I got I got wrecked. <laughs> I, I had three videos on my YouTube. It's not about me, right? But I'm just letting you know, like I have had terrible experience trying to get in presales, and I didn't know. I couldn't figure out why, honestly, until I stumbled upon like, hey, bots are here cranking this up or whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know all the tech. Little lizard brain. Okay, I don't get it, but I do. I do know that hey, if I'm equipped with a sniper gun. You know, and like a little, and a, and a screener here, and like a and a tracker. You know, like I, I think I have, a, I stand a shot, and and that's all I'm asking for. As like a new investor, honestly. We're providing you the tools. You're gonna yeah. go to war. <laughs> you know, it's, so let me ask you this: You would start off a charity token, and you said you switched to utility. Yes. Talk me through that process. Why did you switch? All right. So. How does it look? Let me jump okay, in. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Because because I'm I'm glad you re-asked that because I wanted to actually go back to the beginning because you asked like what is Supermission and you know Hamza said right we have transitioned from charity tokens to a more of a utility token and we're still a generous token we're still planning to do charity and we've already done a ton of charity in our first week we raised one hundred fourteen thousand dollars of charity delivered that live to an official nonprofit tax exempt and you can see that all over the internet on their socials on our socials. Yeah, time, time out. out. You donated 100,000? 114,000. 114, that's six zeros. Yes, yes. In the first week. Good, yeah. Google time out. Yeah. Look, there are, look, I, I work in a church, right? And it's a nonprofit. There are, like, it's, it is so hard to raise money for like good causes out there. There are nonprofits and charities like dying out or living on a shoestring budget because it's impossible to raise funds. It's very, very difficult. And for you guys to re raise six digits 
in one week or first week in launch. There's a lot of prep into it. First week of launch and to help out like a, a charity is fantastic. You guys should be so proud of yourselves and your community. And, and I'm just super glad that I've, I'm able to glean this knowledge from you guys. This is amazing. It's amazing. Oh, thank so, you so yeah, much. I'm sorry. That's so, yeah, that's very kind of you to say. And you know, we're proud of that, and you know, we still intend to give charity. We, we called ourselves the most generous token. Generous in the sense that mm. we'll make you profit, right? Uh, great investment, great cause. We'll make you profit, and we'll make uh, money for charity. And um, the, so if you look at other tokens, right, that are calling themselves charity tokens, they are charity tokens, but they don't give as much, right? So, for example, there's one charity token I guess you could say we're competing with. Um, they gave ten thousand dollars in a month so we did 11 times that in a week and if we stopped giving to uh, charity every for the rest of the year if we just never gave another dollar we'd still be the most generous token so now that we've accomplished that task of displaying the power of crypto to raise charity and make people money um, and earn that brand of being the most generous and transparent token now we decided, okay, well, we have to do more, right? And so we always had the intention of being a utility token. If I were to tell you, like, what Supermission in, is in a nutshell, I'd say Supermission is a versatile token, a super token. We're capable of doing so much. Hamza's leadership, you know, my, I, my ideas, his ideas, Adam's ability to develop and bring it to life allows us to do so much. And we haven't even told you about our buyback policy. So we have, we were doing charity Every week we choose a new partner, right? But that became kind of a burden on our holders and a burden on us because to, we don't just give money to any charity. We vet them first, we partner with them, we invite them on our live streams to educate people and tell them about what they do. So we can't do that every week and market and live our lives. It's just too much. So we decided to scale back. And now what we're doing for three out of the four weeks, instead of 10% charity, it's 10% buyback wallet. And what we do is we implement the BNB strategy. You know, you're familiar mm -hmm. with BNB, right? Binance is cryptocurrency. Yep. What they do is they buy back their token and they burn it. So we are gonna collect this wallet and every week over $100,000 is gonna be spent on buying back our own tokens and destroying them, which is a deflationary policy to decrease the supply and therefore increase your value. And we're gonna do that for three out of four weeks. And the fourth week, which of course, this is gonna produce green candles, the anticipation before the burn, people are gonna buy because they wanna buy here, sell it there when we push those candles up and we burn. And this is going to obviously produce green candles, push our market cap up, the volume will increase. And then on the fourth week, we actually think we're gonna be able to raise more money in that fourth week than if we were to try and do charity every single week. Hmm. So you're saying you're just going to spend, did you say a hundred thousand to buy back? Well, it, it depends it, on the transaction. It depends on the transaction because that's how the charity was raised, right? Every time someone buys or sells, they get a transaction fee. And that's where the slippage right. comes from, right? The slippage allows mm -hmm. for the transaction fee. And then it also fits in what pancake, pancake swap needs. And then the transaction goes through. So the transaction mm -hmm. fees are what collected the charity. And that's what we gave, right? So yep. now for three out of four weeks in one month, those same 10% transaction fees are going to go into a wallet, just like the charity wallet, except it's the buyback wallet. And so mm -hmm. whatever that, if there's only $50,000, if there's $200,000 of transactions, that's going to be spent on buying back our own tokens and destroying mm -hmm. them. And gotcha. we, oh, you're we using don't have the ability the to move new tokens. Yeah. I, so, I, I totally understand now. Mm-hmm. So, so this, okay. yeah, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, so finish your thoughts. I'm sorry, finish your thoughts. I, I was just going to say, like, Super Mission is, you know, a charity. Like, we raise, one of our utilities is charity. One of our utility or several of our utilities concern, like, super screening, super tracking, super sniping, right? Uh, empowering the investor to make safer investments, right? And then also, we have this deflationary tokenomic, which... A lot of people don't like to get creative with the tokenomics. There's a lot that you can right. do. What is tokenomics? They're just rules. And those rules mm -hmm. create the parameters that you're able to work in, right? So it gives yeah. you so much freedom and creativity to do the necessary and extra things to separate you from the rest and increase your value. 
And we've already proved that. Week one, 114 grand. No one is, that's a world record in crypto, by the way, in the pancake yeah. swap space. Yeah, it's crazy. No one has ever done something like that, right? Now we're gonna we're gonna implement this buyback and nobody's talking about that. Nobody's trying that. We're gonna be I don't wanna say the first because there's hundreds of tokens made every day, but we're one of the yeah. few that are gonna do that. And it's gonna be interesting that's amazing. to see how much that works in our favor. Yeah, and I love seeing the innovation and evolution of tokenomics throughout, you know, stages of, of crypto, especially people coming out. Look, uh, we're running up on time here. I got two questions left. If, if you guys want to make it as long as it's short. Uh, uh, here's the first question. What has been the hardest thing about starting and keeping up uh, super mission? Uh, because I believe that I don't like investing in people who haven't been punched in the face. So I want to see, I want to see blood. I want to see what, <laughs> what, what okay. was it that was okay. so painful and how'd you overcome it? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Uh, that's a good question because uh, we got punched really hard and so when a new token launches this is what I noticed about the crypto space when a new token launches there's a lot of hype it creates a lot of hype oh um, it's a charity token uh, it just launched thousands of people are joining the telegram I'm excited we're in euphoria land right and it, and, the, and and the price skyrocket so you know we launched at 250,000 market cap. Now we're at, we're at 4 million, right? So wow. I'm like living in La La Land. And then, you know, people come in and, and, and start fudding and, oh, uh, the devs got the top wallets. Uh, there's top holders. Uh, the audit isn't done. Uh, and then the Elon Musk tweets come in and then BTC goes down. And it's just, it, it, it's like a domino effect. So you see the price go from all the way up there and yeah. we go all the way down but hey like i said and i'm gonna say this again the price action doesn't matter because if i if, if you if you believe in something like this and you build utility and a working product for people the price action really doesn't matter i don't i'm sad to see the price go from you know 250,000 all the way down all the way up to 4 million and then go down to like the six hundred seven uh, five hundred thousand dollar area that's no problem the problem here is uh overcoming the obstacle and yeah. and moving on and building utility and having a community that trusts in you and keeping mm -hmm. them intact people yeah. people right now are like oh well this project is is not really doing well well we're coming out with utility we're telling you updates every day and that's how you overcome it you got to be patient and once we come out with utility this price action we're just gonna we're just gonna remember one day, right, Aaron? Yeah, well, this is just a, this is just this much of your journey compared exactly. to this long we're, we're shot. Exactly, literally nine days old. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, awesome. I love that answer. Uh, here's the last question. And I'll let you guys go. Um, I'm gonna just kind of leave it open, and then I'm gonna wind us down, and you guys have time to think about this. Is there anything that you still want to bring up? Uh, anything we didn't cover? Anything that's so important that could just you know like convince me hey you know what well, how how are we different from all those other tokens out there what is it like the, the field's open basically if anything that i did not get to or we didn't get to in this call uh in this interview i want you guys to bring up here but before we do get, give you guys like a second to think about that look if you made it this far in this video and you're watching and you're a fellow cowboy like me and we're just trying to figure it out we got little lizard brands so just trying to find some right people to put around us um in my estimation yeah I, i'm really liking I'm liking their backgrounds, guys. I'm liking that you know they have complementary uh, uh, skill sets, and I love the vision. I love the utility. I think those utilities are actually helpful. Um, you know, I hear a lot of the stuff that it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense. These are these are things I would literally you're going to see these in future videos. I, I promise you, you're going to be watching with me. Anyway, uh, if you made it this far, I just want to really thank you so much uh, for watching, guys. You're changing my life and the fam my family's life. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Check out all their links in the description, uh, their website, all that kind of stuff. The Telegram, join them, and and you know just. I'm not your financial advisor, okay? I don't give financial advice. I'm a cowboy. I give cowboy advice, okay? So don't sue me, okay? So just go and check it out. Do your own research. Uh, hit the notification bell and give us a like if you're enjoying this video. Okay, so guys, what is it that we haven't talked about yet that is so burning, so hot, that could, it would convince me right now if I'm still skeptical, like, hey, invest in Supermission? Ahmed, do you want to answer that? Yeah, I do. You know, I've heard Hamza say a lot of things, and... Um, we have said a lot of things about our token. 
but you know we speak to our holders not one time not every day we speak to our holders like all the time right we're in and out of the telegram group at all times and sometimes Hamza's talking to them sometimes I'm talking to them Hamza said something to them today that gave me hope a lot of hope and excitement he said the best part of any project really is the team now I don't want to it's not about like I'm part of the team so I don't want to brag about myself but we really do have a unique team I, I'm confident in saying there's no one really like us and I consider us as like a triumvirate or the holy trinity we're, we just have we complement each other like you said we're part of like this perfect triangle and Hamza's leadership abilities his keen insights into making money I mean he's he doesn't like to say this, but he's made hundreds of thousands of dollars moving crypto. Oh, you're putting me out on blast. Amazing. He knows Amazing. how to make money, and he's trying to. He's that's what his community is always about: helping them make money and trading. And this is another way of helping them make money: is creating this project and leading the way. And then I've always been like a creative campaigner. I once pitched a TV show to Netflix through social media, and in 12 days we did it. Right, that type of oh, creativity. Awesome is what we're applying to this. So I bring my own yeah. abilities, my own skills. And then Adam, our programming developer, just is like the perfect cherry on top that makes all of it possible. Like, if you wanna see what's gonna separate us, you look at what we, not only what we say we can do, but you know that Adam, the programming developer, can actually help us do it. And then you look at the team and you just feel confident. Like, no matter what happens, we are in this you know our reputations yeah. are on the line we want to be respected as people not only who did it and succeeded but like you said got punched in the face and came punching right back yeah yeah that's amazing yeah i i hear that i hear that conviction uh, honestly and in, in you guys uh, and i i firmly agree with uh you hamza in saying like hey you know what it's the team that drives it forward like apple was nothing when steve jobs hit like it drove it drove direction and when they removed that element out of it they just kind of disintegrated. And then when they put it back in, it drove again. And that's why I love like a team that is that has strong leadership. Like your leadership is like not just leadership, but it's like visionary and direction. And then and then uh, Adams, it, I haven't met him, but from what I understand, he's an he's an executor. He, he makes things happen. And then Ahmad, you, you bring in the originality that sets you guys separate from from the rest of uh, your competition. Look, I love it. Uh, I'm, I'm really getting a good vibe from you guys. Again, if you're watching, not a financial advisor, just a cowboy, right? And, but this is just my honest opinion. This is my honest assessment, assessment for you guys. So, guys, I want to thank you so much for being in the hot seat. I know I grilled you a little bit on some questions, but you guys are like shining stars in my opinion. Thank you so man, much. Thank guys. you so much, Aaron. Well, thanks and so much for having it's us. It's a pleasure talking to you, honestly. Yeah, it was a great pleasure. Guys, check them out. Check out all the links that are going to be in the description. And we'll see you guys on the moon. Lizard brain, gorilla arms, diamond hands, cowboys here. We're, we're riding together, guys. See you to the moon.